All right, guys, let's check out the MW Timepieces Legato Diver. Now, when Adrian reached out to me, he's the owner of MW Timepieces, I checked out, he had a really well written proposal and I got to check it out and he was showing me his product and everything. I could instantly tell the guy has his stuff together and he was gonna put, send me a, a very well done product. And that's the case here. This is a prototype but there was only like a couple little things and he actually already kind of noted them and I'll cover those in a moment as well. So let's get into the watch. What do we have here? So first off, straight up guys, this is gonna be a Kickstarter launch probably April time and I'm hoping to post this video like sometime in February. So you'll have plenty of uh, time to mull it over and everything like that. But if Kickstarter's not your thing, I get it, there's people that have their reservations, but I'm telling you, Kickstarter can be an excellent opportunity to score some legit deals if you do your homework and you know what you're getting. And I think that's what I'm hoping to uh, you know, portray to you today on this video. So case size on this is a 39 millimeter, lug to lug of 46, so right away, I think we have some good numbers. And then you have this nice brushed on the side here with those drilled lugs you can see the case shape turns down. So the thickness on this is 12 and a half millimeter. It almost looks thicker than it really is. And I think that's partly because the mid case is so thin and then you have the bezel and you can see the case back protruding, but they used the Salita SW200 in here, which is a thin movement. So overall the package is actually only 12 and a half. So it's pretty thin dive watch for sure, especially for the 300 meter water depth rating on it. 20 millimeter lug width, this bracelet is excellent and tapers down to 16 millimeter. You have a seven millimeter screw down crown that is also gonna be loomed, so that's really cool too. Now in the kit, which is an awesome kit, and I showed it in the unboxing, you get this metal box, and when you open it up, the presentation is very nice. The bracelet will sit right here, and you have an extra strap here. You have the screwdriver that you're gonna to need to size the bracelet with up here, and then the watch head will be sitting right there. Just a kind of a really nice presentation, very clean, but well thought out. And the leather strap is nice. I can uh, put that on and show you that towards the end of the video as well. And the screwdrivers, you know, a, a decent quality, run of the mill. This is something you're gonna wanna have in your kit. You can change out the blades, but it's the proper size for the screw links that are in this bracelet. The bracelet is actually really nice. All individual pieces, one of those ones that kind of fold up on themselves, so. Uh, pretty comfortable there in shorter lengths, so you'll be able to get a good size. And uh, dial it in even further with a six micro adjust on the fully milled clasp that has the double pushers and the signed fold over keeper. So no problems there. You can see there's a quick peek at the case back as well, which is display showing off that Salita. So the design feature of this watch is music inspired and guitar heavy obviously with the fret and the strings going all the way around on the bezel and you actually got a little peek of them on the case back as well. So if we zoom in on this guy, let's do that now. You'll see this is obviously the white dial. This is actually a full loomed dial. So the loom on this is gonna be fun. I'll show you that here in a moment as well. But you can see you have the nice applied indices. You have their logo up there and then Legato Diver down below with the depth rating and then the six o'clock date window, black wheel, white printing on this variant. There will be some changes. Like I said, this is a prototype. The hour and minute hand are both gonna grow a little bit in size so you'll have easier legible from them and they'll be a little bit longer. And I'll show you, he actually gave me a um, printed out uh, card so I can show you all of the changes. Really nice crown very stout on that nice knurling on it and it uh, threads down really good so this even though like i said it's a prototype this has to be like 95 percent like this watch is like i would wear it it's not like weird or anything like that and sometimes i get some prototypes that are not very complete so on the bezel insert here it looks to be a sapphire with the um, decoration underneath which i believe is also loomed you have 120 click bezel Nice smooth action on that, and everything lines up. There you go. And if we take a look at the case back, 
the case back is held down with four screws, which is interesting that they chose that. I'm not sure if that's something's going to be changed or not, but they do that partly, I think, because they have these guitar strings over the black hole here, so they kind of want that centered, and that's easiest to do if you have a plate rather than a screw down case back. And it's really nicely decorated, and it has all the information you need. The branding, the depth rating, the movement, all of that good stuff. And then you have those uh, six guitar strings straddling the open hole, which would be like an acoustic guitar hole or something. You have this uh, quick release spring bars on there. And then as you can see, you have a really nice, mostly brushed case with those traditional polished reliefs along the edges. Just gives it a nice little touch. No crown guards on this, so it has a classic look to it as well. All right, we can zoom back out. Let's pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. There you go. Looks, feels, wears great. Nice taper on that bracelet, like I said, and just a good clean size. I'm going to prefer this one on bracelet for a couple of reasons. For me personally, the end links do it kind of extend the lug to lug a little bit and this one having a 46 millimeter lug to lug, I kind of wanted that. Now, if you have a smaller wrist, I think it turns down enough, as you can see, that that's really not gonna be an issue. But these quick release spring bars make strap changes easy enough. You can just go ahead and pinch those together and you can get this guy on here relatively quick because it also has contained spring bars. So no tool required other than the screwdriver, which is provided. So if you don't have the tools needed to size up your stuff, you can buy this kit and you're still gonna be good to go. So here's what it looks like on the provided leather strap, which is a very nicely done strap. And you can see it's designed in Indonesia, which is where Adrian is. And that's where this watch was designed and everything. So very, very cool tie to that area. And there it is on leather. Also tapering really nice and looks great. So there are gonna be some other colorways. Let me show you these cards real quick, which will show you the colorways and the changes. So here's the colorways. Obviously you have the black one, you have the blue one, you have a teal one, and then the white one here that I've shown. But there's gonna be a fifth one, which is a limited edition, and I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Mira Puti or something. I'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly. I'll put a link in the description down below but it's something to do with the um, the red and white Indonesian flag. Um, obviously when I typed it in, it tried to send me to a bunch of uh, restaurants and cuisine and stuff like that. But that is the colorway that I would go after because what it is is it's a white dial with a red bezel and it looks crazy sharp. So if I can get my hands on that one, ultimately, uh, after the Kickstarter launch, I'm gonna try to get that one in to show you guys. So here are the changes. Um, I might have to zoom in so you can read those. So you can see here, thicker hands, like I talked about, and uh, the thicker hour hand as well, and a bit longer, so easily legible. On the dials that will have the loomed bezel, this one doesn't have the, or the logo. This white dial doesn't have the loomed logo, but on the loomed logo ones, it'll be uh, more defined and larger. So stronger loom on the production ones and better crown bezel finish on the production pieces. So it's nice that they, he and uh, Adrian included all of those details. It makes my job a little easier and it gives you the facts that you guys need. So let's kill the lights and check the loom on this prototype. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I mean, I looked at it before and I thought it was pretty good, but better is always better. So on the production model, it will be better. So there you go, beautiful BGW9, nice brilliant white uh, during the day, and then when the lights go out, it's gonna glow blue. So plenty legible. All right guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.